There, now nobody can say I don't sell beer. Anyways, this is kind of question that I was let's play Fable 2, and I just bought this um, thing here because I need more money. But anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the last episode we got started with Bloodstone stuff. We got, you know, exposed Toby for the fraud that it was, and um, let's see, you can't afford those, so let's get a level 3 soul. Uh, let's go ahead and get raised dead, I guess. Why not? Uh, hey, Wait, why am I uglier? Why would you make what? Look so ugly? Oh, whatever. Anyways, in this episode, we're gonna be dealing with one of my favorite all-time quests in Fable 2. It is the Treasure Island of Doom. <laughs> no drunk has seen the ghost of a pirate. So yeah, this is one of the funnest quests in the game, in my opinion. I saw him. It be true. Or funniest. <laughs> with me own two peepers, I tell ye. <sighs> So yeah, this was the guy that I kind of skipped by that I think time. old Jack's mad, but he's not. You. Hmm? Ah, you there. I have a tale for thee. You'll scarcely credit of legends and vast treasures. And uh, my throat is uh, far too dry to go on. Hey, what the hell is with all these people? Go away. All right, fair. so yeah, the first part it's of this quest: fair, get a salty jacket of beer. He's a true pirate. <laughs> ah, <laughs> thank you. It does me a I like how it says "you" that. down there now, on the subtitles, and it just says "ye." Jack story, <laughs> and be amazed. All right, so tell me a story. Aye, ah, yeah, there I was, laid down unconscious on the beach, an empty bottle of fire juice in my arms, like some high-bosomed maiden, when I beheld his figure. By a nearby cave. I'm so lucky to know Captain Dread. Is it, wait, what so the hell are you doing? Go in yeah. life was he, I tell ye. He Seems would so strike weird. his surname into your soul with nary a look. Why? So and yeah. Ran, swam, and uh, as the rest as I part could is for a really important. Brew, and basically, what happens is that no he wants us to investigate me. Captain Dread. <laughs> <laughs> So, you prove me right, tale. won't you? You prove old Jack ain't telling no tales. And no one believes him, so we gotta prove him, and he's coffee more. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and accept. Ah, I knew I could count on you. You'll find the cave on the coast. But take care. Yes, take care of dreaded Captain Dread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, this quest is already starting up on the right foot. Uh, I'm gonna need shock for this. All right, so the Smuggler's Cave is on the opposite, the extreme opposite end of Bloodstone. Bloodstone is actually probably the biggest town, excluding Bowerstone, and that's because Bowerstone, you know, it's split into like five regions or something, or four. I, I'm just guessing offhand. I'm not really thinking. I'm damn Bard. Alright, so yeah, there's this whole big area over here. There's no, really nothing here. There's like an odd chest or item or two that you can find over here. But all the way, all the way to the right, you'll find these uh, bushes here. Just chop right through them. And then right past these bushes, you'll have a little path and, ooh, a chest. <laughs> We're already getting treasure. Alright, and it, yeah, at the end of this quest, on I mean path, we'll find the cave. 300 gold. Why didn't the dog go off? Lazy dog. Alright, yeah, the sinkhole. That's what it's called. So yeah, this is kind of like the, um... The, uh, Echo Cave back in, uh, Oakfield. Oakfield. Yeah. <laughs> I hate how they call it Oakfield, and, like, you know, in the previous game you have Oakvale, and Oakvale was, like, an extremely important town, a town too, and, like, you get to Oakfield and Oakvale pretty much at the same points in both games, so... I don't know. <laughs> it's too confusing for me. Uh, Alright, yeah, the sinkhole isn't a very big place, luckily, so... But this is a pretty long quest, I have to warn you guys. Uh, this video will probably be going on for quite a bit of time. Hopefully not too long, but... And already we gotta dive into a hole. So, let's go. Person, we all gave who enter the domain of Captain Dread. He sounds like Salty Jack. <laughs> the living. Welcome in my crew. Yes, it reminds me of Barbosa. <laughs> okay, do we really need a subtitle for that? <laughs> Alright, look at ship. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting cave and stuff like that. You have to wonder how this boat got in here, though. 
But we'll find out, actually. Yeah, 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 I'll talk. Alright, so yeah, the first thing you need to do is you need to investigate this cave thing here. Um, you can see a few things around here, not much importance yet. There's a big thing here, but we can't really do anything here yet, either. We'll be heading into this room, though. Really, it's the only way to go. And I can only walk here. There we go. And we get into an ambush with a bunch of ghosts. Alright, so... <laughs> so yeah, this is the first major challenge of the quest, ghosts. Now, the thing about these guys is that they're basically just humans with, like, a different color, you know, spread and stuff like that. Ooh, okay. Um... Like, oh, he died. Alright, that was... All right. Oh shoot, it respawns. Alright. I mean, I mean, there are different waves. Okay, so yeah, you have to deal with a few waves of these, uh, ghost fires. Like I just said, they just, they operate just like, um, regular humans. They don't have any special skills or anything like that. They just, they do block a few times, but, um... Yeah, they're basically higher level bandits. That's basically all they are. They just look, you know, transparent and cool. Now, yeah, it's a good idea to probably stay towards the, uh, entrance door of this. You gotta, like, pick them off from here and, uh, get to get, uh, sword swipe on them. And, yeah, they'll respawn again at their time. Man, look at all the orbs. Oh! Oh, wow! I pulled off a, a, a counter, I think. So yeah, the, that was the uh, level 4 brutal style that I just pulled off, luckily. Basically what happened, uh, yeah, I think I tried describing it before, but basically when a person tries to attack you, if you press X, like if you hold down X, I think, and you, um, or like, you point in their, you, no, you point in their direction, and press X, then as they're attacking, you'll like flip it around and kill them. So basically, it's, it's a, I've never really done it very much, too. I've never really tried to, though, because it's, it's a lot easier just to wail on them with your sharp stick of iron <laughs> than just, you know, bother. Oh, yeah, I... You're alive, one uh, well, I be dead one. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, and some of you are noticing that I'm using my new pistol now, too, so... Yeah, the Master Clockwork Pistol, definitely going to be an upgrade. Alright, now here you're probably thinking, oh, I'm trapped and stuff like that. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh, let's switch. <laughs> I even curb stomp it. Alright, yeah, kind of the hookup that you might have here. Is that my stomach? Something making weird noises. <laughs> oh no, I think that's. Oh, that's my desk, okay. <laughs> Alright, so this chest here is the uh, next major puzzle that we have to deal with. And somewhere in this room, is the key for it in the prolonged exposure to cheat alchemical materials used to make these flowers can lead to death. <laughs> ah, I love it. Alright, so yeah, the key is going to be one of these things. Um, offhand, I can't exactly remember where. Um, I remember that it's hard to find, though. Oh yeah, you can sleep in it. Let's go ahead and sleep in Captain Dread's bed. <laughs> Get my health back without having to use a potion or anything. Alright, so yeah, the key's somewhere here. Let's see. Blasted Celery. Avo is dead. Oh, that's kind of an interesting book. Um, kind of describes like what happened to the Temple of Avo in the past 500 years. Uh, Phantom's dead. Nah. Let's see, I guess it's over here. Let's see, can't do you, can't do you. Oh, right, it's this little thing, like the little end table here. Yeah, Captain Dread's key. This key opened Captain Dread's chest. Oh man, I couldn't have figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's see what's Captain Dread's magic treasure of awesomeness. It's a lever. <laughs> a part of a lever mechanism. Yeah, the only kind of item that you that's like this, too, it's not really given a category. I think they just probably shove it in the other category. Yeah, I get 800 gold. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to build up my uh, real estate now because, like, I'm getting to the point in the game where you really, really need a ridiculous amount of money in order to do everything. And uh, Let's see, let's get time control on there. I'm going to need this for this upcoming battle. Yeah, there's battle spoilers. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead. Ooh, this is where it So yeah, use the lever part to raise the water level. So yeah, this is how the vote got in here. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, you hold down A to put the lever in, and then you use that to, yeah, activate this thing. And I should know that you can't leave this cave once you drop down from there. 
But you have to go through the entire quest if you want to leave. So I guess I probably should have known that earlier. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so the ship is now up the level. The whole cavern is flooded now, so we can't go back even if we wanted to. Well, we couldn't anyway, so there's that big drop. And when you vault onto the ship, the next stage of this quest begins. Welcome aboard, Alright, so let's time stop and let's see if I can get some damage on Captain Dreader. Like, I can't remember if she can. Alright, uh, looks like you can. Yeah, I, you have to get rid of this ghost crew again. Yeah, the ghost pirates. <laughs> ghost pirates. If they were ghost pirate ninjas, we'd be screwed. Or ghost robot ninjas. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you gotta deal with these guys again. I didn't know I hit them. Alright, right, there's one. There's two, and they respawn. Oh, no way. Alright, let's do another time control. This is a uh, spam shock, I guess. I mean, they're all. Quite close to me. I need to get. I need to save up for a level five, so I can really use one. And it definitely makes some things easier. I like how my pistol too. Yay! All right, you're dead. Uh, well, re dead. <laughs> ah, remember, it's a ghost. You can't say go to hell. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Let's just get rid of it. <laughs> uh, come on, come on. Alright, there's one, and then there's the other. Ah, uh, another wave, alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna afford another level 4 spell. I mean, if I can get all the level 4 spells, then all the uh, current ones get more powerful, and then it'll make getting level 5 easier, so. It's kind of like, when it comes to like buying spells, you just kind of gotta play it kind of like that. Alright, now after the three things. Captain Dread faces this. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Alright, so yeah, obviously Captain Dread, the special thing about him is that he knows the Vortex spell. And oddly enough, although it might be useless for you, it's actually quite useful against yourself. So, <laughs> kind of weird. Um, other than that, ah, oh, damn, Vortex. Other than that, he kind of fights just like a high level bandit, so there's really nothing special to him beyond the uh, spell. So just keep wailing on him until, you know, he finally submits. Uh, probably be the potion. Yeah. There we go, not too hard. And for killing him we get his map. So, yeah, there's a whole nother part to this. And the map uh, shows the way to an island where he accumulated all his nefarious treasure loot. So I wasn't really reading. <laughs> Alright, let's get, um... Uh, let's go ahead and I uh, guess get a new spell. Why not? I mean, I'm getting close to the point where I can't really buy anything else. I just want to get rid of it. Uh, let's go with Blades. Blades is probably the most useful out of those that are left. And so then, take the next step of this uh, quest. Take the helm of the ship. So yeah, just for a sec. As you touch the controls, the ship senses your intentions and sets sail by itself. Alright. And we are taken to Lion's Head Isle. <laughs> An obvious reference to uh, the company. If you, yeah, if you haven't been paying attention, Lion Head Studios is what made this game. And um, well, we're gonna get a bit of a hint of you know their influence in this game on this island. Now, the next part of this quest, the pretty much the second half of this quest, we have to explore this island and find tr ten treasure chests. And each of these treasure chests will have gold in them. And yeah, you, there's no map to this place, so... That's the hard part about this place. There is no map, so you... It, it, it is kind of hard to keep your bearings sometimes. Like, know where everything was and stuff. And, Alright, so there's no chest. I think the chest is on top of that ship, so... Alright, so the first one I think should be down here. Now, there are enemies in this place. However, they're just beetles. So, like, high-level beetles. But they're beetles on the last side. You're, you can see, like... My the tensions are already shifting. But yeah, there's really no threat on this island. It's just kind of a big look around and stuff like that, but it's still pretty neat. And so yeah, th this is one of the treasure chests. You can see one. All the chests have 1,500 gold in them. Ah, glitch. So basically, once you finish this quest, you're going to be 15,000 gold richer. So <laughs> if you're... um, Sorry for the mic flow there. Uh, so if you're poor right now in this game, this is a good way to get enough money to buy... One of the smaller, um, you know, shop buildings in Power Stone or something like that. So this is kind of like, you know, a sinuous. <laughs> Alright, and that will be the 
Yay, get to pick them off with my new pistol. Alright, now, the second one. This is one of the more easier ones to miss. You can swim out here and you'll see a few debris just floating around. And when you get around this zone, you'll find a little coast and you'll find a little treasure. <laughs> So yeah, this is one of the two, uh, one, like one of the two or three that's easier to miss. The problem with this quest, and that I'm really hoping it doesn't play to now, is that no matter what, there's always one chest that I always miss. I'm like, I get to the end of this, uh, like the end of the circuit for this island, and I always have nine out of ten. And that always drives me mad. But uh, all right, uh, any beetles? Ah, uh, that's annoying. Camera pans out and nothing comes up. <laughs> Alright, so another uh, shrubbery here. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Alright, and then, uh, alright, there are a few beetles here, so we'll take care of them first. And like I said, it's not really much of an issue. Oh, wait, some more Alright, so the reason why you want to come up here is to jump onto this boat because there's a chest on this boat. You can see, like, right there in the, uh, Let's see. Yeah, there you are. Alright. <laughs> I thought it was on the top there for a second. I was worried because, like, it look like you can get up there. And now that I mention it, what's the fire for? I mean, there's there, there shouldn't be anyone here besides the beetles. Um. <laughs> oh, man, that's weird. Alright. <laughs> Alright, just some nitpicking, I guess. And the uh, camera pans out again. Alright, so now we get to the main part of the iron and island. The uh, iron. Uh, what am I, Asian? <laughs> and, guess what? That's why it's called Lion's Head. <laughs> the actual company of the logo is a little island on this island. And before you dive off real quick, dive off to the side here and you'll get your fourth treasure. Yeah, one, another one of the easier ones to miss, I suppose. Like, because you'll, you'll just like randomly just, you know, just dive off going to the... Lion Head Island. <laughs> so yeah, it's an island within an island. <laughs> if we find another island, it's gonna be Island Seven. <laughs> All right, definitely lame reference. All right, so there are a few chests in this region here. Uh, let's see, uh, there are a few fields here too. Where that shovel is should be another one of the treasures, and your dog will detect on it once I get to there. All right, this guy can figure you out. Hey. Nah, my throat's already clearing now. Well, I've been at this for almost 18 minutes now, so... Nah. <laughs> Alright, now I just gotta wait for my dog. Let's see. Oh, well, while he's waiting, let's go ahead and get this sunken one at the mouth of the lion's head. So yeah, the only um, underwater treasure of the, of the island, so don't worry about anyone being like that. And once the dog finally decides to come here... Come on. Come on, I need you. There we go. <laughs> I hate how unreliable the dock can be sometimes. Alright, now this will be number, uh, let's see, five? Yeah, five, alright. Sometimes I'm not sure if the uh, counter already goes or not. Alright, so five. Alright, now six is going to be behind one of these waterfalls. Um, let's see, it's not that one because we were just next to that one. Um, let's see, this one... Uh, no, this one's solid. Oh, I'm getting lagged, too. Alright, come on. Damn swimming mechanics. <laughs> ah, alright, let's go. Uh, alright, it's this one. Yeah, this is the uh, bigger one. You can see I have a little path back here. Nice, cozy little path, and you'll find another treasure here. So that's seven. So we're getting there. <laughs> alright, now. Ah. Uh, now, there are some other things here, too, on this island, I should note. Uh, let's see, I think I can go ahead and go forward, there shouldn't be anything behind this. Um, yeah, there are two other things here. Um, one of them is a thing that, um, well, yeah, one should be a silver key, and then the other thing is, a, of course, the, uh, big secret I've been having. Let's see, I'm not forgetting anything, I don't think. Alright, so, let's go ahead and go up. Uh, let's see. See, I know, I think that thing is there, but, um, yeah, I'm saving that for an extra video, but if you go up here, you'll look over here, and you'll find another jump point, and you'll find a little super key. So, yay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think about how this island works and stuff. Alright, let me just drop down real quick. 
and get back to where I was. This next part I cut out because I thought while I was recording this, you could only come to Lion's Head Isle once. So I got the gargoyle here and I got the start, the official start of that quest. You can actually come back to this place, which I'll show later on. For now, just ignore the fact that I have the quest active. I'm, sa I'm saving the gargoyles for an extra video. Alright, now that I got that dealt with, i uh, try to ignore the header up there. <laughs> uh, let's see. These guys. I think no. I didn't. I have a joint. All right. So in this cave here, you'll find uh, you should find a little outcropping somewhere. Let's see. Uh, no. Let's see. There, yeah, this is the start of the cave. I guess this is further. All right, here. You can actually break down these boards, and behind these boards will be your eighth treasure chest. And I think I skipped one. Damn it. Happened. It happened despite the fact that I didn't want it to happen. Yeah, because once you get out here, oh, experience me. Once you get out here, you'll have a little jump point, and then you'll have your. This is supposed to be your last chest, but this kind of loops back to the um, beginning of the island. So, yeah, I definitely forgot a treasure chest, so I have to go f crawling through this island and find it. Before you do, though, these beetles finally spawn once you get up to this treasure chest here. So. I can't target that one for some reason. Let's just fall it off. There we go. Alright, get rid of you and get rid of you. Alright, now let me go see if I can um find this tenth treasure chest. I, I swear I always miss one. I hate it. Uh. Oh, there you are. Oh yeah. Hidden behind this tree rather well too. Oh. So yeah, this is like probably the true treasure six or seven. Yeah. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and uh, loop back to the island <laughs> entrance. Yeah. All right, so now that I'm back here. Um, once you have the tenth treasure chest, the um, that requirement goes away, and you can get back on the ship. And you'll leave. All right, so you'll um, and you get dropped off in Bloodstone too. You don't get dropped off back in the cave because obviously the cave got flooded. So um, yeah, and I should know because um, given how long this video is already, I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. But if you go back into the sinkhole and you know you go to that point where you're about to dive off into the big hole. You can actually go past it now because the water level is high enough that you can actually swim on it. And behind, uh, past the hole, you you'll find a silver key. Sea so, I, I but I'll, I'll show it off later, I guess, because I don't really have much time anymore. Finished him off for good and stole his ship too. <laughs> yeah, we're true pirates. <laughs> the Marianne. Never thought I'd see her and count myself living. Hmm. Aye. You'll be a legend among pirates for this, you will. And you proved Salty Jack ain't gone soft in the head yet. I can go back to my port without fear of ridicule. I thank ye. Again with the Q and ye thing. Anyways, Captain's Bread Treasure is finally yours. But what if it's cursed? Don't worry, it isn't. <laughs> 7,500 renown and Captain Dredd sword. I like that little <laughs> snippet there. Don't worry, it isn't. <laughs> so yeah, free 15,000 gold. Yay. Yay for us. It looks more like a weapon than a trophy, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, but that's pretty much it. God, this video's gone on way too long. And I should note that, yeah, I just realized this. You can use the ship to go back to the island anytime you want to if you forgot something. But anyways, this is Guy Question 9 with Let's Play Fable 2. And in the next episode, I will uh, think of something to do. <laughs> so I'll see you then, guys.